close than you, Anna. It's a huge buffalo. Huge buffalo. Wow. looking buck in there. Not sure exactly just because how much the shadow was in there, but definitely worth a closer look. Right at the top, okay. Right over top, okay. Yeah, because it's just here in front. Okay. We'll see if we can take a look. Yep. Heads up, facing to the right. There's one that walked right in front of them right now. I'm on the, I'm on the right. Okay. Yeah. There you can. Yep, you can see his. You can see his antlers now. Just a go. Oh, here we go. All right, you ready? Yep. Spot and stalk work perfect. We edged up on the hill here, and they're all down in the shade. And it's also crazy windy out here, so it's probably out of the wind there. Very good. Yeah, thank you. That stalk work perfect. Yeah, no. Yeah. It's windy, no? Oh man, trying to steady on the sticks was. Yeah. It's possible. yeah. Let's go take a look. right there. Oh, a great one. Oh, man. Thanks, sir. Congratulations. Awesome axis deer here in Argentina. Uh, it's gorgeous coat on them. They are a cool deer. I've been able to hunt these in Hawaii before and I was looking forward to doing it here and this is why great buck like this it was so windy this afternoon and they're down here there's hardly any wind so you can tell why they're here they're in the shade and out of the wind but allowed us to sneak over that hill over there just perfectly Charlie had the plan right yeah no thank you an awesome access deer here in Argentina Thirty-four hundred steps. Thirty-four hundred steps. All right. No, yeah. great follow deer. Yeah, beautiful. He's absolutely gorgeous. Where was he at? Some really big stuff in there. <laughs> we saw him three different times. Uh -huh. Once we saw him from about here up. Uh -huh. Then we saw him. We're tracking him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, saw just the tail end of him. And then we saw him standing broadside at about 90. Gotcha. In the real thick stuff. Uh -huh. We thought he was all hidden. Uh -huh. Got him. The, the vital parts weren't hidden. No, there it is. That's a great follow deer. It's beautiful. Yeah.
Is this the bull we were looking for? I think it is. Yeah. Oh, it looks heavy, right? Yeah, it looks heavy. Yeah. I'm gonna try to drive through mm -hmm. and see at the other side of the hill. Okay. Just don't make any mistake. Okay. Charlie's idea coming and check the water holes worked out. We didn't find one at the water hole, but as we were cruising away, we got one that's walking to the water hole and he looks like an absolute stud of a bull. So what we did is we came downwind. We're gonna hop in the trees here and kind of zigzag a little bit as he's walking away from us, but we got the wind in our face, so it should be perfect. He should just keep going towards that water and we'll just sneak up right behind. Justin, you on him? This is the water for where he was. I hear him. Rolling around in here. I think I saw his leg roll up one time yeah. when he was on his back. And they come because it's so hot, they come at this time of the day every day. Mm -hmm. It's a nice spot. Then after they come here midday and they get in this, they just disappear just back and fix stuff. The again. Yeah. They grass all they grass all, all night long, you know. Yeah. Pretty much eat all day, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's go take a look. Let's go take a look. Awesome. Congratulations, it's man. It's a huge buffalo. Huge buffalo. Wow. Wow. It's got mass everywhere. Carries it right up. Well, that plan worked out perfect. Charlie said, let's wait till midday and go check some water holes because they come here, especially when it's hot out like it is today. And spotted them walking to the water hole, which gave us time to kind of use the, the thick stuff to kind of cut them off got to right where the water hole was but there was a little dip we made a made a play and luckily he stopped to look back and i can't this holy smokes it's just big it's big everywhere he's got big obviously he's got mass everywhere but the body is huge like i go to compare this to a cape buffalo in africa and this body is way bigger than a cape buffalo that's an awesome awesome bull here in argentina thank you charlie congratulations my friend
Well, it's extremely hot today, so we're kind of regrouping. They've got a little water hole that they've had wild hogs and also a few peccaries, which would be awesome to see a peccary that we're going to set up on this afternoon. It's just so hot. Nothing else is out moving today, so we're going to get set up in the shade. It's a little water hole. Hopefully, they come in and hit it tonight. Again, fingers crossed, we see a peccary extremely rare here in Argentina. I know there are a couple of big boars, but finger crossed for that peccary. Once it cleared the grass, had big tusk on its perfect boar. So dad's gonna slide over here too. So now we're sitting on a peccary or if there's another big boar that comes and we'll get dad on the sticks. So we just slid that boar up into the grass. We'll go and take pictures and everything before it gets dark. But right now there's still so much time left and it's so warm today that most the hawks in the area have to go to water and this is one of the only water sources down here so it's a perfect setup today. So we're gonna go down and take a look at the boar that I got and then dad's ran off a little bit But we saw it go down. So it's just a little bit farther Saw a ton of boars in here tonight, but didn't see any peccaries, which is all right because I think we've got two giant tuskers down right now Let's go take a look Look at this guy. He's got some serious tusk on him giant wild boar right there in Argentina. That's pretty awesome. So we set up on this water hole and the plan was dad and I were both here. We were hoping for obviously a lot tonight, but ended up with two great wild boars. We'll go take a look at dad's, which just ran off right over this little hill over here. 
Yes, and you can tell there has not been any hunting here the last two years because a little water hole like this has holds so many of these because there hasn't been any any hunting pressure and there's really no natural predators to these in Argentina. And that's when you get some giant tuskers just like this. Let's go take a look at dads. Oh, there he is right there. Wow. Nice guy. <laughs> oh, Giant tusk on him, Dad. <laughs> Two big boars out of the same water hole worked out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it did. They almost look like brothers. or the one that's really intriguing for me is the four horn sheep. I can't wait to see one of those. Holy smokes, that truck's gonna hit you, boo, boo, boo. <laughs> a four horn almost, what now? Almost, almost <laughs> died right there. A four horn sheep, four horn ram. I don't remember what it's called. We're gonna have to go ask Charlie. I think we're gonna run with this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you almost died right there. 